I would like to share a few of my new additions in my collection. First one, Atkinson Burlington Arcade. The nice packaging, elegant bottle. The whole company brings very unique, classy English style of cologne. Nothing unpleasant, nothing so strong. Very uplifting scent. Imagine the fresh green fern and grass growing up in the springtime and smelling that fresh greenness and looking at that fresh green springtime color that is not the same like when it's dry hot summer i have strong connection with that type of the color the type of the smell something that is freshly grown the whole nature is coming up that's how you can imagine the burlington arcade 41 very refined this is the scent that is really unique and if i pick one barbershop high quality fragrance it would be burlington arcade 41 the second one is 1725 lavender type of the lemal thing atkinson's burlington arcade 41 is much more fresher much more greener more uplifting and more smooth this is more italian vibe and more powdery although there's nothing vintage or outdated it still can be somehow irritating for somebody who if you like more powder theatrical things in venetian or festive way it can be a good choice for those occasions nobody talks about it and that's good for me nine years in fragrance game i haven't smelled anything so well done like this the blend and connection fresh green incense note fresh airy robes it's something that i still cannot cannot get it's it's so good perfectly balanced perfectly polished also perfectly soft and nothing screaming too loud or too overpowering because you know so-called influencers in a youtube game they always pretend all those silly faces how to draw attention with the overspraying to me overspraying means uncertainty spraying a decent amount understanding of your personality, your life goals, your mindset. Perfume is not only one thing, it has to be connected with you and with your personality. I prefer incense rose over the Ladridas and Marocain much more. It projects much more. Uh, it's much more recent thing than Ladridas and Marocain. It's something that brings me complete enjoyment, minute after minute, spending with that fragrance. And that's the goal. And that's the point of buying a new fragrance. You want to have something unique and joy for every minute. The perfume is all that matters. Here, these two ones. I wanted to talk about it. One of my recent additions in my collection because it's something that not so many people talks about it. I want to highlight it. We can start with the uh, Amber Kashmir Intense. Amber Kashmir Intense is nothing like the regular generic designer amber for men, amber for women. Like, almost every company is trying to make uh, amber fragrance. All of those designer brands simply fail. They're not even close with the details and complete elegance and the soft skill. How Patricia Nicolai made this. This is complete masterpiece. Amber Kashmir is something unreal. Light years ahead of today's perfumery. Uh, what they're trying to do. They never finished amber with such a smoothness, roundness, warmth and quality like this one. And the second one is Caravanserai Intense. It's called Caravanserai. I imagine myself being in a desert, sitting in a tent, eating all those dates and all the fruity Moroccan uh, the food, delicious food, sweet fruit, surrounded by all those fruits, enjoying that variety of that dish catching the waft of desert air. It takes you to those places. I can easily de detect the coffee note there, blended with dates and sweet fruits, but sweet dry fruits made somewhere between Turkey, Egypt and Morocco. It always takes me to those oriental places with that rich, rich Arabian vibe. So it really, I really enjoy wearing this fragrance because it's something. I remember one fragrance, this entry level Montal Intense Cafe. It's it's horrible, out of a balance point, and didn't understand the hype of that. More years you're in that game, more you understand that is something that can be against you when you when you wear it. 
at least to me it's not helping you enjoy that moment it's completely smooth soft delicious easily wearable and not going ahead of you it's going with you and just adding you that oriental vibe not over sweden but completely polished and completely refined luxurious you smell luxury but refined luxury not cheap so-called luxury like cheap oriental fragrances and clothes and dupes stay far away from the perfection that's why i don't recommend you and don't do the clone or dupe reviews they simply out of my taste if i would choose to to spend some time with with a fragrance it has to be something interesting and something that i like to want to spend time for a whole day or at least for eight hours or six hours with if you're familiar with Incense Rose or Nikolai's or Atkinson's Burlington Arcade 41. Let me know, drop down the comments about your thoughts, experiences. I want to know how you feel with that fragrance, what impression those fragrances can give you, what they mean to you. Be well, be fine, and be refined, wear something unique, something that you enjoy for the whole day. Don't let yourself influence by people telling all those shits about Mont Blancs and all those lies about how unique. Mont Blanc Explorer smells.